Hello and welcome to Thirsty Thursday Toys. It's a Thursday and that means I have a drink recipe and toy review for you. Now this figure, the SH Monster Arts 2021 Kong, came out months ago as of the date of this posting. I was going to put this up then, but the drink tastes like marzipan, which is much more of a fall flavor to me. So I saved it and here we are. Today's drink, the Hollow Earth, is made like so. You'll just need a small cocktail glass. Start with one shot of your favorite amaretto or, you know, whatever amaretto is cheapest. It also helps if your amaretto is chilled. Then get your favorite root beer, or whatever's cheapest, or whatever your mom brings up when she comes to visit. We'll need two shots of this. And again, it helps when it's chilled. Number two. And the finishing touch, purely for aesthetics, is this light up fake ice cube. This one I have can rotate through a few different colors. I'm gonna find blue, there we go. And you're gonna plop that right there in the middle. And there we have the Hollow Earth cocktail. Cheers. And here is the Instagram packaging. I say that not just because it's photogenic, but I mean, it literally looks like the Instagram logo. I mean, look at the, the, the square, the colors. Now there is a bootleg out there which does not have any of the copyright stuff. So that's an easy way to tell. You got Kong on the side there. You got some action poses. Now what's interesting here is the window is on the back instead of the front. And there was also a little window in the top there. So you can see that silver backing, and there's some instructions right in here. The instructions show four sets of hands, two different heads, and how he can hold the axe. So there he is in the bubble. You can see all those extra hands, the extra head, and the axe. Nice display. Here is our Kong with the fists and the roaring head. Really nice detail and paint in here. Now I know there's a guy, there's probably a couple guys, who have made some replacement heads for Kong. Even the teeth deep inside the mouth. Even those eyes, my gosh. There is so much articulation to this guy. The head is on a ball joint, so he's got a nice range of motion there. And the base of the neck is also on a ball joint, which really helps all sorts of directions. Whoops. Now it stays on pretty tight, but I also like how easily it can pop off to replace the heads. You can see in the back here, this like white part, that's where his eyes are. There's his stoic head. Again, great paint and detail. And that just pops right on there. Then you have the arms. Ball joints everywhere here. And you have a joint here, which on mine is really tight. Doesn't really do much for me. This likes to come off. You do have this kind of elbow bend here. You got this, this joint does pop right back on. And I mean, you can see it, it stays. It can hold the entire weight of the figure. Just gotta be careful when you are moving it around. Yep, just like that. But one of the great things about ball joints is they just pop right back in. And the wrist, nice range of motion there. And that goes for both arms. So for the main body, you have this upper section, this middle section, down here, and down here. So quite a bit. So you can wiggle that top part. Got this nice range and this like ab crunch here. And then I guess this kind of <laughs> diaper bit. Now you got quite a few ball joints in the legs as well. So you've got right in here, in here, a couple here around the knee, and then a couple down here around the ankle. And even right here in the foot, it's got some, some motion there. So here we have those fists. You can pop those off. He's got these knuckle hands that he can kind of walk on. Like it shows on the packaging, he can walk on all fours here. In, I mean, a better pose than what I've got him in. He also has these open hands. Look at that guy. This is the, the hollow earth flying pose. There he goes, going for those magic rocks. Then you've got your, uh, your, your holdy hands, I guess. There you go, with the holdy hands. They can hold the axe. Now, a pro and con of the axe is that it's not cast in the same rubber as most of the other parts. This is a nice light plastic, you can kind of tell from the sound which feels very fragile to me, but at least it's not gonna like bend and warp over time, especially when he's holding up, you're not gonna have this just floppy ax. Now the ax that comes with it is just this solid opaque plastic with this kind of silver detailing, kind of. It's kind of better on one side than the other. But I found a guy in uh, some of the Godzilla groups on Facebook. He typically prints buildings, but he also printed these axes, so I bought a couple. So here's one he printed and painted up. It's a little bit more flexible. I don't wanna bend it too much but I love the translucence. And here's another one fully translucent that I'm gonna paint up at some point. And these also fit well in Kong's hands. 
Now the fingers are a little more pliable, and the arm comes off. Let's just do this. Fingers are a little more pliable, so you can just get that right in there, and it holds on nice and tight. There you go. Let's get your fighting face on. There we go, there's our Kong. If you want to go full original Kong, you can take a tiny little Miss Darrow. Stick her right in here. There you go. He can pound his chest. He can crush an out-of-scale heave. He can scratch his ass. He can absolutely blow the Playmates figure out of the water. Look at those axes. Now I think this dude is definitely worth the money. They put a lot of time and effort into the sculpt, the paint, the detail, the articulation. As opposed to this guy, who got like Listerine mouth and extra hands, which is like one of the only reasons to buy it. So when you put these guys side by side, you can see where all the money went. Now speaking of bad paint jobs, I'm not one to criticize. Here's the start of a repaint. I've got a ways to go. But here he is next to the NECA. Then you've got some Mecha Godzillas. Can't wait until the Monster Arts one comes out. You can even wrap him up in a war bat. That's way more stable than I thought it would be. Holy crap. So there's our SH Monster Arts 2021 Kong. As always, good luck on your hunt. Thanks for subscribing, and please drink responsibly. See you next week!